Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Mahoka Coco, episode 22 and 23. Now, in the last episode, things really started getting serious. And the reason why I say this is because it seems that our school has been targeted by a real deal dangerous organization. Now, if you guys remember, way back in the beginning of Mahoka Coco, we were also targeted by another big dangerous organization known as Blanche. But we made quick work of them, we got them out of here, and we haven't really heard much from them since. Apparently, they were the Japan branch, so clearly, or at least I think, there are other branches around the world of Blanche and we haven't heard anything from them, but this organization is serious. And the reason why we know that is because we bumped into a spy in episode 20, I think. And after we kind of got a hold of him and got some answers out of him, he ran away and he ended up getting cornered by, it seems like, one of this organization's goons. And he was not happy at all. He snapped this man's arm in half, which, you know, it doesn't sound too crazy. But to me, I mean, it may have just been my eyes deceiving me, but it seems like he snapped his arm with one hand. Now, I challenge all of you right now to go grab a stick from outside or something and try to snap it with one hand. You just can't. You can't. It is not possible to do this. So, I think that this guy may be an enhanced human, kind of like the guy that was sent by No Head Dragon to the Nine Schools competition. And so, if we're dealing with multiple of those, that could be a really dangerous situation because these guys were rumored to be able to easily clean up 200 people without even breaking a sweat. But we also got to see that this organization has recruited someone from our own school to kind of spy on us, probably pass them information, and we thought that they were being manipulated or maybe they were being paid in some way to do this for them. But apparently she did it of her own free will. And the reason why is because she wanted to get revenge on Tatsuya. Now this part specifically was really interesting to me because it seemed like there were two different answers in the comments section. A lot of people believed that her sister that she was trying to avenge was uh, the girl that competed in the like magical girl little contest where they were flying around and like smacking the orbs that competition and then her CAD malfunctioned and she fell out of the sky a lot of people were saying that that was her sister but I got even more people saying that it was actually her engineer the girl that worked on the girl whose CAD malfunctioned it was the engineer of her because she put the guilt on herself I'm guessing she felt like she was working on the CAD, she gave the CAD to her, so her not realizing that it's been tampered with, that's her fault, and so she felt really guilty for it. But anyways, it is time to get into this episode. So, if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description, and also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. All $2 patrons and up will be getting these episodes early before anyone else. So if you want to be the first in line to see some new Mahoka Coco action, then that'll be the way to do so. But with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. All right, so this is the part of the episode where you guys will have one of two options. You can either follow along by clicking the first and second link to pull up episode 22 and 23, and then we can watch through it and journey through these episodes together. Or you can click the third link, which is the mega link, or the fourth link, which is the Google Drive link, if you want to see the reaction with the anime in the corner and everything all together on one screen. But if you are going to follow along, we'll be starting episode 22 in three, two, one, go. All right. Kokonoji Temple.
so that's clearly what they're after. Okay, so the spy told us that I believe his job was to investigate and make sure that nobody was taking technology and, like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Give me a second, give me a second. It's like, he was trying to make sure that technology wasn't being taken from Japan and brought over to other parts of the world, and I think that's what this organization is trying to do. They're targeting our school so that they can get information or technology from us that they can take and use for evil, I'm guessing, or for self-gain, personal gain. And I think that is the thing that they're looking for right there, the relic that we have, because we know that the relic can be used to store sequences so it can make casting a lot quicker and i mean i kind of already said this last episode but um tatsuya mentioned that some people want to use that relic to kind of replace magicians and um you guys actually in the comment section told me that tatsuya wants to use it maybe along the same lines of his um, reactor that he's making, where he's trying to make magicians' lives easier. And um, the bad guys, this evil organization, is trying to use it to replace magicians. And probably some, like, military sense, I'm guessing. Hey, my boy, scouting. But can he keep up with us? Oh, it doesn't look like he can. He's kind of falling behind. I'll snap. Oh? So our facility is being hacked. We're right on time. Mr. Silver. Oh, is it the relic? And it looks like the crow's caught up. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Tatsuya is such a beast, dude. Dang, but they know now. Dang, he knew immediately where it was. So, there's a man-eating tiger. I'm sure Tatsuya knows that they know he brought the relic there, though. So maybe he's going to try to play around that? Where is everybody? Thanks, Miyuki. Well, what is that? Is that a person? Or like a android? I'm guessing an android. 
Dude, that's kind of clean. Wow. That's really cool. Is this like a day off or something? Oh! Oh my gosh! Coming in clutch! So clearly they're starting to make their move. Oh, and I think we found our culprit. Oh. Oh, she's watching. And he's pretending to be knocked out. Put your hands up where we can see him. <laughs> Oh, dang, we didn't even have to catch him, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Dang, we caught you. Oh, did Sheba let her know? Yeah, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Nice try. <laughs> what is this, an anime? <laughs> Aww. Hmm. What's going on here? What is he doing? I thought these two were on the same team. Hmm, maybe not. Because I know that guy in the uh with the purple hair, he's with the organization that was kind of using that girl. Dang! Oh my gosh! If the door won't open, just rip the handle off. Holy. Oh wow, he actually looks like a tiger. I didn't realize that. Oh! Are we getting some action? Whipped out the blade? Oh, that's kind of sick. Dang. He has to be like an enhanced human, dude. The fact that he can like hold this back with just raw strength. Dang. I'm glad this dude is nimble. Because it seems like any one punch. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh my gosh. Not bad. Oh, this dude has some moves too. But even then, he still got hit. I thought he dodged it. Ooh. This man is actually a wild animal. But yeah, it looks like they traded. He got a good slashing on him. But um, the tiger dude. 
got him with uh, what looked like wind magic. Oh? So he's a magician then. Just a really strong one. All right. So, um, yeah, what I was saying before, the dude with the purple hair, he was working with the organization that was kind of taking advantage of the girl getting information for them, right? That wanted revenge on Tatsuya. I thought him and the tiger guy were on the same side. And that's where you come in. Is Sekimoto the guy that was trying to hack us with the sleeping gas? And that's who the man-eating tiger was sent to dispose of. Maybe? Or was she Sekimoto? Hmm. Oh! Is this the girl that the tiger dude was trying to target before? But this guy ended up kind of sabotaging him? Oh, I smell hypnotism. All right, so they're about to go see Sekimoto, so it's definitely not the girl. I'm sorry, but keeping track of all these names is a struggle and a half. Okay, so it is that dude. With the stupid haircut. <laughs> So he's the one getting disposed of. Oh, he thought. What was that? 
That's kind of insane. That an alarm? Oh, it is. Intruder! Oh, we know who this is. Oh, and finally, he comes face to face with Tatsuya. And she knows him. This is interesting, though. How does she know him? She's just a high schooler. Ooh. Oh! That's kind of clean! <laughs> and they're working together. Is that Saigusa using the ice? Ooh, that was smooth. That was smooth. Her weapon's kind of clean, man. Hmm. Oh! Dang. Is he coming after us? What? Bro, what? Oh my gosh. Dude, what the heck? Dang. She has all kinds of crazy magic we've never seen. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be hard to get up from, for sure. Dang. Wow. Did we actually take him down? We apprehended him. Hmm. Oh, wow. Dang, man. Can Tatsuya ever get a break? <laughs> Heart's starting to beat fast. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Dang.
Yeah, I was just about to say. Like, she was super embarrassed, but he didn't really seem to mind. What a nice brother, man. <coughs> Just realized. Oh my gosh. This episode's kind of wild. Man, I was just like, oh, okay, I guess she's asleep. Hold on a second. Hold on one second. All right. So we finished that episode, it's time to move into 23 and see where things go from here. One thing I did want to say before though, is um, the tiger guy, his original objective was to get rid of, what was his name, Sa Sakemoto? I don't remember. It started with the S. The dude that was being interrogated. His job was to eliminate him, but I'm guessing once he saw that Tatsuya was in there, that's when he was like, oh, now I can complete the real objective, and he just went straight after him. But the fact that so many people had to, like, tango with this guy just to get a scratch on him, if that, and Tatsuya was able to do it without even lifting a finger, like, I don't know what that was in front of him, but that, like, purple energy... He just ran right into it, and then he got this big gash on his, like, lower, I don't know, was it, like, his side? Like, his ribs? Somewhere around there? Dude, he kind of got handled. And I'm still surprised at the fact that, um, that, uh, the third year girl, the one with the sword that kind of split into segments, I'm surprised that she knew who he was. So, hopefully we find out more about that soon. All right, so here we are with episode 23, which we will be starting in three, two, one, go. All right. Now I'm even more confused. Okay, so they're working together, but they're not from the same organization. They're like allies. But I'm guessing the tiger guy got in the way of the purple-haired dude's plans, so that's why he kind of called the alarm on him. Dang. He's getting locked up for good. Wow. All right, man. <laughs> Dude. Things are definitely getting real. So this main target they're talking about. Um Okay, so basically, I'm guessing he asked that 
they be careful around Chinatown, like not cause too much destruction. But he was saying like their main objective is right next to Chinatown. So if things get hairy, I mean, he'll try to hold back. But ultimately, his number one priority is to get the job done. And if Chinatown ends up getting hit in the process, then it's what he has to do. But, um, I'm, I'm starting to understand more, but there are just, I feel like there are little pieces to this puzzle. I feel like I'm getting, I can see the picture at this point, but there are little pieces of the puzzle still missing. So I'm trying to understand, like, for example, what is this guy with the purple hair after? Um, we still have to figure out what that girl with the segmented sword, what, how she knew who he was. Cause it seems like, I mean, I'd guess that this dude would be some like underground, like special operatives magician. So the fact that his name is known by a third year high schooler is like, how? I like this music. It's definitely a little change of mood. Oh, yeah. Our boy was getting trained by Erica. Oh, really? Every year. <laughs> okay, so he's saying you guys can help. But don't, like, I don't know, don't intentionally get involved. Like, just sit back, observe, and then if anything happens, hey, I'm sure no one would complain if he came to help. But I'm guessing he just doesn't want them to put themselves in harm's way. Dang. Oh, I see what she's doing now. 
Okay, she's trying to get her to turn her anger and frustration towards him into motivation to be better than him. That's interesting. Dang, she knows her talents. I like that in a woman. <laughs> Man. I wonder, though, if she actually thinks that she has the potential to pass Tatsuya, or if she's just saying that to... Because she did say that she can be manipulative, so maybe she was saying that to try to... I don't know, get her to think that maybe she can pass him when in reality, there's no way. Because this is God Suya we're talking about. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this isn't any ordinary date. She's trying to pull up with the goons. Make sure that nothing happens at this thesis competition. And here she is. Mm. Ah, it's true. Mobile suits. What? That sounds kind of clean. All the schools are competing again. Oh, is that her brother? Wait. <laughs> I'm just now remembering that. What the heck? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Dude, 
Dude, he sounds so familiar. Does he have Midoriya's voice actor? What the heck? A mm, little bit of friendly rivalry. Dude, I could have swore I heard a little hint of Midoriya right there when he was talking. Maybe it was just me, though. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, it looks like they're getting along. Mm hmm. Man. Ooh, it looks like she ended up finding her. Miss Phantom. Electron Sorceress. Dude, these nicknames are sick. <laughs> they definitely sound like some big deals. Hmm. Oh my gosh, of course. I'm not even surprised. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're dealing with one of the most dangerous magicians. I would think that you guys would take extra precautions. Have someone that could handle him if he were to escape. Or at least multiple people that could handle him. Dang, they let the tiger get away. Ah... Oh, that's, that's not good. They're probably spies. Oh, dang. Wow. You know what I just realized? This is so crazy. How high schoolers 
are being kind of put in charge of being the security for this event. Like this event that's being targeted by like this big deal organization. High schoolers are putting on bulletproof vests. They're kind of scouting the perimeter. That's so crazy. And not to say that they're the only ones. Like, clearly the high-level magicians put some uh, precautionary measures in place as well. There's the reactor. Oh, there it is. Is that the mobile, the mobile suit she was talking about? Wait, no, no, no. That can't be. Because in the opening, we saw them, we saw the students cutting that thing down. Dang. These are the foreigners making their moves. Oh my gosh! Hmm. Okay. Ah, but that is a thing of the past now. Dang. So without having to require a magician to dedicate to creating that much energy, they're able to just have a magician kind of kickstart this reactor and then it can make the energy itself. And this is what Tatsuya was talking about using it for. <clears throat> uh, and speaking of gravity magic. Mm-hmm. Cardinal George. Oh. Oh, they think they have something better. 
And there it is. Oh, oh man. What a cliffhanger, dude. I know there are some people who are heated right now, dude. <laughs> they cut it off at the perfect time, man. Dude, things are about to get real. We got a whole entire Gundam Mexa here. <laughs> With freaking chainsaw arms. Or I guess they're not really Gundams. They're kind of leaning more towards, like, the Titanfall mechs, right? Dude, I'm... I can't wait for these last couple of episodes, man. Things are getting crazy. We got, like, super high-level, dangerous magicians getting apprehended and then breaking out, so now we have no idea what the heck he's up to. This could have been a part of the plan. Who knows? Like, dang, man. Things are really going crazy from here. But I'm excited for it, man. So when it comes to this thesis competition, it's kind of like the nine schools competition, how everyone's coming together. All the schools are coming together to compete, right? But for some reason, this organization is targeting our school. So is it for the reactor that Tatsuya made? But I'm guessing that's only like one of many organizations because we know that that one is targeting us but we've also heard that a lot of foreigners have been seen within the crowd of this event and this event has like all the schools coming together so maybe there are like multiple organizations targeting this event like we have the guy with um what's his name Lu, Lu Gohu the man-eating tiger we have his organization that was targeting our school. We had all these dudes in like the green military outfits. I'm guessing they were the ones that sent this giant mech. So this, it's like everyone has their eyes on this event and somebody's made their move. I'm guessing it's the dude in the green suits that sent the mech over, but we have no idea. All I know is I still think it's crazy how like high schoolers, high schoolers are being put in charge of guarding this place well they're not put in charge of it but they are going out of their way to put these bulletproof vests on stand outside the event and keep watch these are high schoolers dude high schoolers normally you'd expect like the adults to come in and be keeping watch outside while the high schoolers are being kept safe inside but i guess i don't know in this world i guess we're we're all from pretty prestigious magic schools and so i'm guessing they think that these students are capable enough to defend their own school if need be so i still think that's kind of crazy but anyways i really enjoyed this episode for sure and i'm sure a lot of you guys did as well we got to see a lot of the man-eating tiger fights which was super hype we got to see him fight tatsuya and just so much happened in this episode but the next episode is where things are really gonna get juicy dude <laughs> i'm telling you man we're on episode 23 i believe there are 26 so next episode will be 24 and 25 and then the last reaction will be episode 26 so 24 and 25 i'm guessing is going to be the peak that is going to be the climax of this story things are about to go down and then in 26, it might be like kind of wrapping everything up. It'll be the situation after the smoke clears. But who, whatever is going to be kicking up that smoke, all this action coming in these next two episodes. I'm super excited for it, man. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more slice shown content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description. And also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that, I'm going to be heading out, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.